I'm telling myself like I believe it, but I don't really believe it. I don't think I will believe it until we're actually there. It is hard to describe what we are feeling right now. We are preparing to leave our island home after more than two years isolating in an extremely remote location. What I do know is that finding a way for myself to ease the inner tension that I'm feeling, let go of opinions about what should and shouldn't be and accept that we are always where we are meant to be has helped. We are only just surviving, but at the same time thriving through this pandemic on our little island home. There's so much beautiful vegetables. In this incredible place, we have had many ups and downs. Medical emergencies, repeated disappointments and massive anxieties, a loss of income and a change of direction in the face of some highly, highly stressful events. Over. The building's almost falling over. We had a really big, strong earthquake. Whoa, that was a very, very, very big earthquake. Facing the reality of this pandemic in a developing country. Losing people we love. Facing more risks with limited support. Remain where you are. Saying goodbye when we really didn't want to. And ultimately, leaning on each other to get through this. Sometimes when it rains, it, it pours. But with a shift in energy and a big focus on our happiness and well-being as a family, and who we are now as a result of these circumstances, we see that we're rebuilding a resort, building a new family home. What's going on here? <laughs> Pushing the limits for a big adventure finding our own little family traditions. Ah, cheers, Billy. Making a lot of fun to find a way through the hard times. <laughs> <laughs> Building virtual relationships oh, because there was no other day. way. How can cobbles get sick? Raising our children to honour the environment and become wildlife warriors. Oh. Are you guys scared of sharks? learning to swim and fit in. When we stop and think about when this all started, they were just so little. And I guess there's no denying that we have grown too. We find ourselves at a crossroad. <laughs> it feels like our worlds are about to collide. This beautiful paradise we exist in here in the Solomon Islands is our home, but we are also Aussies living abroad. And yes, we still call Australia home. It's time to go. I've seen the sun rise from mountaintops <laughs> Slept on the wrong side of tabletops I need to sleep that don't seem to stop But it's home where my heart belongs Good morning! It's the same today. as it's always been Yeah, these road keepers traveling They're like rivers of wide and deep Who flow from land out into the sea Drawn home The other day I made some crackers. Right now I'm making some savory pancakes for the kids' dinner. They've got their yum boxes, which are brilliant by the way. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to check out these yum boxes on Amazon because these are a lifesaver for us when we're traveling or out on the boat or on an adventure day. The kids love eating out of something a little bit fun like a yum box and they're just awesome to organize food and they don't leak. And yeah, so savory pancakes, the kids have got some hummus, some fresh veggies. Um, I don't know what else I'm putting in there at this stage, maybe some fruit and Jason and I are just going to kind of pick up what they don't eat. And then we've got crackers, we've got banana cake and biscuits, all have to be homemade because we live on an island. So when we're going that direction, we obviously can't have anything pre-packaged because there's nowhere to buy it. So that's the story. <laughs> Hello, are we going to Oz today? We're going out to the other Very soon. So who needs to have a shower? Philly and I. And Mummy. Okay, let's go. Billy? We're going out to Where are you going? We're going out to 
Aussie. Good, Aussie, yeah, okay. This is the dancing team for the departure dance. Dance leader is uh, Topa. Okay, where are we going? We're going to Australia. Oh, good pronunciation, I like it. Kangaroo grandmas. Kangaroo grandmas. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Everyone, look after I'm good to all of all, please. Oka. 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 Lana. Hey, point two. Yeah. Liana, to. You follow Kekia, yeah? Oh, I Just stay quiet. Hand the Just stay quiet. Liana! Bye, Koi! Bye, Koi! Bye, Koi House! Bye, Koi! Bye, Upi Sumi! Arriving at Sege was a strange shock to the system. We hadn't seen so many people in one place for quite some time. We had to pull in and have our COVID tests and then we had a bit of a wait on the water before the plane arrived. Saying our goodbyes to Nana and Papa was pretty tough, knowing that we weren't really sure how long it would be before we'd see each other again. Can't tell if I'm smiling. <laughs> to me that arriving in Honiara was probably the moment I really believed that this was happening. We are so used to the very real possibility that the domestic sector could cancel at the last minute if our World War II grass airstrip gets rained out. So we're walking. One, because I don't really have to get, want to get in a taxi. But more importantly, because we forgot all of our money. <laughs> so we were penniless in Honiara. Oh good, it's only like 100 metres. 200 meters. 
300 meters. We'll make it. Guys, I think we need a high five. I'm so proud of you for how you did on that plane. Whoa, look at that big I'll give you a high five, Daddy. Good job, Mummy. Look at ah. that big swap. Yes. Crackers in the park. Not the normal kind of crackers in a park. <laughs> 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 so funny. Oh. The hardest and hottest oh, part of this journey was done. Ride. The kids had done oh, really, really well and they were overly excited about trucks and cars. Oh. Little did they know this one small street into the airport in Honiara was just the beginning. Yeah, I see them. How many how many trucks have you seen? I think about You're not meant to shower in this shower. Oh my goodness. It was fine, it was very clean. I think we flooded half of the airport trying to shower the kids, but they're in their jammies, they're in a car seat for the first time in forever. And Mommy, I can see cars up there. Yeah, there's there. cars up there too. There's cars everywhere. We had a good day, didn't we? Going to cartoon. Yeah, and guess what? Next stop is... Where are we going next? Grandma's, Grandma's house. house and now we've got a drive to get down to my mum's place so we will be there soon. <laughs> she can drive as well. <laughs> I can still drive. I don't have a license at the moment. It's expired and they wouldn't let me renew it online so Katie's driving.
gets better again And that'll sustain me for now Oh